So I'm filming right now on a GH5 with this new lens right here. This is, uh, and I'm in intelligent auto mode. So everything is auto. Let's see how it's going with the autofocus and everything. This is the new lens, 8 to 18. So hello, so who are you? Hey, I'm Kevin, nice to meet you again. Okay, I met you before, right? Yeah, so we're yeah. gonna start talking. So we've got a little friend of a cow here. But no need to talk about cows. <laughs> we we need to check this new lens. lens. This, are people excited about 8 to 18? Why are they excited about 8 this 18, one? Because it's super wide. So primarily with our lenses, again, the fact is we listen to our customers and we wanted to get something really wide um, to kind of show people what our cameras are really capable of. This is a super wide angle lens. It's 8 to 18 mil. It's the Leica. Um, and it's really sharp. So awesome for kind of night street photography, astrophotography. Um, it's weather sealed. It's a really nice piece of kit. Plus is this for video blogging or not? Like um, the stuff that I do? Probably, probably not really, but to be fair, you know, with the fact that it is such a good piece of glass um, and it's so smooth, you could easily use it for video. There isn't a problem, you're using it now. How do you feel? It looks uh, very in focus right yeah. now. I mean, <laughs> what I can see right here, because, uh, um, and there's no dual IS in this because you don't need it for so, such a wide lens. Uh, well, particularly the fact is that, you know, this isn't, it's the same as, it's not a constant 2.8. It's about size and weight. We didn't want to make a really big, heavy lens that people are just not going to use again. So it's about having it compact. So getting the very best optics, but, but bear in mind that we've got the body stabilization. So you're only at 8 to 18, so you don't need a long reach, or you're not going to have a long reach. So therefore, you don't really need the stabilization. You've got it in camera, so you don't need it in the lens. So I'm fully zoomed in right now. I'm moving around the uh -huh. cab, moving around you. Uh, just handheld. This sensor stabilization of the GH5 is mind blowing, no? It's so good, right? No rigs or anything else needed, handheld, and you can just run around with it. Let's try to do some sweet cinematic walk where I follow yeah? you. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's hop let's into the center, yeah? So we, we actually did the lens show here in London. It's the Wex lens show. Um, they do it every year. We came down last year and we're here again this year. It's been a massive success. Um, you know, we love interacting with the people. We love bringing brand new kit. This is an exclusive on the 8 to 18. And you know, we've brought it down so people can see it here first. It's important that people kind of keep abreast of what's happening um, within the industry, but we give exclusives. We're not just gonna go to the big shows. And, you know, the Wex Lens Show here in London is a big deal for Wex. It's a big deal for the industry. That's why we bring this kit and we show them you know, first here. What is this place here? Else. Looks crazy. <laughs> it's Where cool, right? It's, um, this is the design center. So. You know, it's all about design. Where London was designed? Um, not where London was designed, that would be mad. Okay. <laughs> Let me show you the show. Come it's this way. There. So the lens show. Yeah, it's a so cool show about uh, cameras. It's about all about cameras, it's about kit, it's about the latest products, and kind of getting all the manufacturers here with us. Um, we've got everyone that have come down from Sony, um, Nikon and everyone else, but we're the people that are bringing brand new kit to the show. We're the people that are actually showing world exclusives here. Um, and that's with the 8 to 18. You have, you've had a pretty busy couple of months, right? I've been crazy What's, busy. You know, the GH5 go, is, you've been there. <laughs> what are people doing here? Are they actually buying the gh Yeah, yeah, so this is Wex Photographic. Wex Photographic actually bring down kit. So they've got hundreds of thousands of pounds of a stock that they've brought. So you can actually come down and buy the kit here. So you can come down, see it as an exclusive and then you can come to the tills and actually purchase. So you don't have to go away and think about it. You can actually buy it here at the show. Okay. So we can actually see there's a bunch of GH5s there or no more stock, right? <laughs> What's the we, sold, we sold out, we sold out. But you sold know, out. we're not gonna grumble at that. Um, but there's anamorphic lenses. We've got um, lots of people upstairs, downstairs. We've got a stand out at the back. Um, you know, we're not afraid to kind of bring our kit down and show people absolutely what it's capable of and let people get hands on with it. Come and have a look at the stand. It's just down this way. Right. So, um, how are you doing with that stabilization? You doing okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. The, I was a little bit disappointed that it didn't have dual IS this lens, but for okay. sure it wouldn't even work, right? Because it's very, very wide. Yeah, what? it's very wide. And the fact that, you know, again, it's only the equivalent of a 36 mil. You don't need dual IS, you only need stabilization on one form. Um, it's pointless overworking something just for the sake of it. All right. Let's go uh, to your booth. Let's yeah. check it out. So, here we are, just at our stand. As you can see, we've got a whole. It feels a little bit like deja vu. This video. I know, right? We did something like this before. <laughs> Who are we going to start talking about as we keep meeting up like this? But every time, you know that we've got something new. 
So the last time we had the GH5 brand new, and now I've got a lens to go on that's brand new as well. And this one, this video I'm happy is not flickering right now. So, yeah, so what, what do you do to my settings? <laughs> so you want to film in 60p. The problem with 60p is when you get any lights or anything else, it goes out of sync. So what I've done is I've changed that to 50p for you, so you shouldn't be getting any flickering at all. That's right, yeah? Yeah, I'm using the new, uh, just bought today the Saramonic uh, UW Mic 9. So we have a dual lav wireless. So that's the sound. Hopefully, the sound is okay. I think uh, for video blogging, it's actually quite cool to have uh, very wide. It, well, um, the point is, you know, particularly if you're shooting in 4K and you only want HD content, if you shoot really wide, you can then crop down to HD. So when you've got four times the resolution of HD, you can crop down. Pseudo in second cameras, things like this. So if you shoot really wide, you can crop down so it looks like you had more than one camera at the event. And I would say I'm a little bit big as a person. It makes people slimmer, right? Yeah. Well, I'm lens. hoping so. I'm okay. hoping so. Doesn't it do something to <laughs> When that? I watch this video back, I'll be holding you okay. responsible if I don't already slim. No, no, you is perfect. <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, okay, let's check here the booth. Uh, I, was, I was trying out the... Uh, can we grab this one? So, yep. Let's grab this one. What do you think about this lens here, 42.5? 42.5 is one of my favorite lenses for portrait. It's an absolutely beautiful lens. So if you want portrait work or anything like that, and you want to use ambient lighting, it's absolutely brilliant. It gives you a really nice shallow depth of field. It gives you a really good bokeh effect. It's How does that work? How can it be so much bokeh in this lens? What is the um, science it's in there? It's um, and it's about the glass. You know, you can see from this lens here, the amount of glass um, that's involved. Again, it's one of our premium Leica lenses. If we have the standard 42.5, you'll notice it's a much smaller lens in its body. So we're looking, we're looking at Leica, Leica, yeah, huh? three it's big like Leica a, lenses. Like a story, There's a 12 right? to 60, <laughs> which is also the big seller, right? Yeah, What's yeah. going on with the, with the Leica so the 12, 12 to 60? Is that the most demanded one for the GH5? The GH5 12 to 60 Leica kit is our most demanded kit. Um, it's quite funny, really, because we knew that videographers were going to be after this, so we kind of expected people to buy it body only and use historical glass. Um, and actually, because of the quality of the 12 to 60, um, sales have outstripped demand hugely. So, you know, it, we're actually struggling to keep up, um, but we'll keep fighting through because it's a nice battle to have. <laughs> nice. Um, so, uh, there's, a, there's been an official announcement that there is going to be a bunch of firmware updates, right? There's yeah, going to be uh, uh, autofocus improvement? Um, there's, well, to be fair, we constantly improve every aspect of our cameras um, using firmware updates. We've already done one, so anyone that's got a GH5 should already have 1.1 installed on their GH5s. Um, if not, go onto the website, download it, um, and update your GH5 to 1.1. 1. 1.1 so 1. 1 added something with Full HD, no? That's right, yeah. yeah. Only with Full HD? Uh, well, the point is, you know, there are often little tiny tweaks within an update that we kind of don't shout about because they're only minor improvements. But it's important that everyone just updates each time we do a firmware update. Uh, all right, and it's easy to update, just go on the website. Yeah, go on the website, download it onto a small SD card, put it into your camera, press play and away it goes, it updates itself. So how much demand is there for this new lens, the 8 to 18? Is it going to be a, a blockbuster, a good seller? Well, we're hoping so, we're hoping so. so? Um, you know, we're chasing the whole dream of having very high quality glass, um, and that's what it's all about. Because you have the, here the, somewhere the, um, you have the, the 7 to 14, right? What's the difference between the 7 to 14 Lumix glass. and the 8 to... It's the quality of the glass. So, you know, primarily this is a very, very good quality glass. Um, and we all know that if you were to get one, glass, one lens that has average quality glass and another one that has exceptional quality glass, the image at the end is hugely improved. So if you look at the 42.5, we do two of them, um, and the Noctochron is an amazing lens. So primarily that's the reason why it's the portrait photographer's um, choice. Uh, how is uh, this lens? How is it in the corners? As people are talking about the corners have to be sharp, or what, yeah, how does it work? Well, that's why we use Leica. So Leica basically will tell us if we're getting any kind of aberrations or any kind of issues at the edge of the glass, and they'll work it through, and we'll re basically feed back to them. And when it's perfect, then we release it, and that's what we've done. And so the, it's perfect. It has a uh, 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 has a hood. It? Hood. So does yeah. it lock in like the, yeah. the the nice new way? Absolutely. So you've got your little button there. That's your release, and then you just completely remove it. And as you can see on the front there, it's got it's fully threaded. So if you want to fit any kind of filters, oh, oh. yeah, I just clicked by by mistake the display <laughs> button, so it turned off my viewfinder. Okay, so I'm still there. Yep. So you've got a fully thread on there. Are we going to fit any filters or anything else that you need? So you can put filters. Yeah. Uh -huh. And D. Is that yep. what people want? Yep. 
ND filters, what, else, what else is there? Um, well, primarily, that's what they'll use, our um, ND filters more than anything else. Um, purely or heavy filters, so if you want to dial down the stop or so if you want to do long exposures during the day, um, you can yeah. fit filters for that. So, you, can, you know, even if you go minus five stop filters, so they're really dark, but you're going to do a really long exposure. All right, so um, is there going to be more kits? Or there's, you... there's always more kit. More <laughs> kits, like uh, when people buy the lens, get a d discount. Oh, if they so buy a GH5 with the 8 to 18, there's no kits yet. No, no. And primarily, that probably won't happen. Um, but there's always going to be, you know, things in the pipeline. And if a demand is there and we get asked enough, then obviously it's something that we can think about. Um, but currently, the 12 to 60 is a really good range. You know, it's the equivalent of 120 mil, so it's a good focal length. And you can get it in two different qualities. So whether you want it as a standard kit lens or you want the lighter quality, you can go either way as a as a kit. So now I'm tracking focus, uh, half press, half shutter press. I'm not sure if I need to do that, but basically I'm just clicking uh, once in a while on your face if I get out, out. And it seems to track very good. I'm zooming yeah. in right now. I'm going to zoom out again. Uh, and uh, so it should, people should be happy about this lens, I guess. Yeah, I and mean, then, the lens is good. And, you know, as far as being able to handhold the camera and run around like we have, Realistically, it's you know a thing that people should embrace. Let's let's go back over here. There is a we, uh, there's a 12 to 35. Is that the Mark II? Yes. So uh, that's a constant 2.8. It is. Does that so, mean it's brighter than the Leica? Um, well, it's a constant 2.8. So primarily at the far end, but as you can see from the size of the glass, you you know you are gaining a lot of glass on here compared to the 12 so, to 60. I mean. Um, compared to the 12 to 60, slightly. Slightly, yeah. Yeah. So but that means you know, when you fully, fully wide, it's brighter than the other one. Yeah. Yep. But you're then going to have the trade-off of you know the Leica glass is incredibly good glass. So the 12 to 35. We also do the 35 to 100, and these are the Mark II versions. So these are the reworked, um, which work better when you're videoing. So when you're stepping down. Um, and they also work better with the dual IS because they've been built for that purpose. Can we uh, quickly check the G series? Uh, there's a story about uh, you have. Uh, is this the new the super compact one? Uh, yes. Yeah, so this is the GX800. The GX800 is very similar to the GX80, apart from what we've done. As you can see on the back, is we've removed the viewfinder. So remove the viewfinder because not everybody wants one. And the fact yep. is, that if you don't want one, you don't need to carry one. So it's much smaller. On there, we've also got our compact 12 to 32, so it's a collapsible um, 12 to 32 lens. So what it actually does is it extends out. Nice. And we've also put a hinge, so you are it's not fully articulated, but it's definitely very handy. It's very affordable. So if you want to do, you want to do yeah. selfies. I wish it had a little uh, microphone input. Okay. okay but otherwise, it's fantastic. You're, you're right? full of wishes. You're full yeah, of wishes. Yeah, I have right? lots of wishes. And dual as you can. I'm joking. That, no need for that. Okay, that's great. This is very affordable, right? Uh, yeah, it's really cheap. Um, you know, you're looking around the 500 pounds mark. Um, so it's basically, if you want the quality of a micro four thirds camera, um, and you want the the benefit of a large sensor in a very compact camera, this is the size of a compact let's put, camera. Let's put the 8 to 18 on that one. The 8 to 18. That's not particularly exciting. What we could do is... You could, right? We could. Any, any micro yeah, four thirds? Yeah, any micro four thirds. So, why don't we stupid? Okay, yeah. No, that's not stupid. It's fairly stupid. And we can just throw a 300 mil, just do that which one. is the equivalent of a 600 mil lens. Whoa. Cool. So, uh, there's lots of, uh, lots of cameras. Lots of cameras, lots of fun. You know, people should come down and see us. It's a right. very cool thing.